really enjoyed my time here in the first It is one of the most famous and yet secret buildings in the world, the headquarters of the Central Intelligence Agency. Today, everyone's seen this, it's in all the movies. Showing me round is Mike Pompeo, who's just marked a year as its head, a tumultuous time around the world and in Washington. He's not shy about the CIA's mission, saying he's unleashed the agency to take more risks. We're the world's finest espionage service. I'm incredibly proud of that. Uh, we're going to go out there and do our damnedest to steal secrets uh, on behalf of the American people. In the room where America's most secret operations are planned, I asked him about Russia and the claims it interfered in America's last election, as well as in Europe. Do you see signs that Russian activity is lessening in terms of subversion in Europe and the United States? I haven't seen a significant decrease in their activity. Do you have concerns that they might try and interfere in the U.S. midterms which are coming up? Of course. Uh, I have every expectation that they will continue to try and do that. But I'm confident that America will be able to have a free and fair election that will push back in a way that is sufficiently robust that the impact, that the impact they have on our election won't, uh, won't be great. Do you ever find yourself having to walk a fine line with a president who has said that talk about Russian particularly collusion is fake news and an agency which has said that there were attempts in 2016 to influence the election? I, I don't do fine lines. <laughs> I do the truth. Uh, I, we deliver uh, nearly every day uh, personally uh, to the president the most exquisite truth that we know from the CIA. And what's he like in those meetings? He asks questions? He's inquisitive of you? Yes. He asks hard questions. Uh, he, uh, uh, he's very focused in the sense that he is curious about the facts that we present. A recent book, of which I'm sure you're aware, suggested that the president wasn't quite up to it, that he might uh, not quite have the faculties. What's your response to that as someone who sits in the room with him many mornings? Yeah, it's absurd. I, it just, it's absurd. I, I, I haven't read the book. I don't intend to. I have much better things to read. I actually have things to read that are accurate uh, and truthful. Uh, the, the, the claim that the president isn't engaged and doesn't have a grasp on these important issues is dangerous and false. And uh, it saddens me that someone would have taken the time to write such a dribble. Is it tricky for you, though, when you've been in these briefings and then you might come out and there might be some tweet about a foreign policy issue. I mean, when the president talks about Rocket Man, isn't there a, a danger that it's raising the temperature with something like North Korea and it could, could actually lead to some kind of escalation? Kim Jong-un has never appreciated the risk that he presents to the world in the way that he does today. And it is also our judgment that our partners, who are also at risk from North Korea, have now come to understand that it is Kim Jong-un that is presenting this risk. And so when you see this language that the president chooses to use, the many audiences for it, and I can share with your audience today that I assure you Kim Jong-un understands the message that America is serious about this. The CIA director says that his job is to find other ways of stopping America being at risk from a nuclear-armed North Korea should diplomacy fail. Are there options that are available do you think that are short of all-out war because a lot of people think that that option would cause massive destruction and loss of life. Well they're right about that. Uh, there, there is a uh, set of military tasks that might have to be undertaken and they would in fact cause enormous damage and uh, our president and our senior leaders are very mindful of that. Uh, but we're going to present the president a range of alternatives, other ways to assist in what the president has said as our policy. Do you think it's possible to remove the ability of Kim Jong-un to fire those missiles, to, to either take him out or to take out the ability to launch missiles? Many things are possible. And how much time do you think there is? Because some in the past, I think people have talked about it being an imminent threat. We talk about him having the ability to deliver a nuclear weapon uh, to the United States in a matter of a handful of months. Stopping attacks and stealing secrets is the CIA's mission. The stars on this wall mark those who died carrying it out. The way in which the agency has gone about its work has always reflected the president it serves. And Donald Trump's CIA under Mike Pompeo will be an agency that won't hold back, wherever that might take it. Gordon Carrera, BBC News, Langley, Virginia.